And welcome to Kentucky Purviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. And it has been a little while since we have done a sake. So we decided we would have Gekikan Nigori Sake. It is 10% alcohol by volume. And, oddly enough, this says serve chilled. There's no mention of heating it up. Some sakis are best served chilled. Some are warm. That is true. This specific one a little bit. is chilled. I do. Uh, how do you feel about sake? Oh, that that's, a, that's kind of a complicated question. <laughs> I like sake a lot. I like some sake. Uh, this one I'm a little bit leery of because it was two toned. Like I cook with sake sometimes. This was two toned before you shook it up. Like there was a clear layer yeah. and a milky layer. And but it says I've never seen it like that. It's before. only roughly. It says it's roughly filtered. So they just probably do the big. It looks pretty chunky. It smells like. It smells like rice pudding. Uh, rice pudding and bad rice pudding, like it's it's slightly expired. A bit off, yeah. Uh, it's, it's weird how much that like it's just waking up the part of my brain that goes, oh, it's rice. So pudding. just so you know, if you don't know what sake is, like I said, it's rice wine, uh, very popular in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a few that I, I, I drink sake from time to time, but I don't have a lot of friends that like it, so I don't bring it out very often. It's sweet. It's very sweet. I cook with it sometimes. Uh, I cook with it more than I drink it. That's um. The texture is reminiscent of an almond milk. Yeah, a little bit. Actually, slightly in the flavor, it slightly reminds me of like soy milk or almond milk. Yeah, there's you definitely know, you can get a little bit of the sake like that sort of wave that sake gives you. Uh, it's not up front and it's not an aftertaste. Saki has this like this middle part that's very round. Yeah, you get it like towards the middle. You get a little bit of almost like a little bit of sourness by from the fermentation, and then it finishes semi dry. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it does remind me like of an almond milk or like a like a soy yeah, milk. Yeah, a little something. bit. It's it's like a dry soy milk, which is a strange thing to say. Um. I'm a I'm a fan of the heated sake myself. I could get drunk off this. Oh, I definitely could do that. This is I could 100% do that. It's good. It's got a slight bitterness to it from the alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, again, like I said, it, like I said, it reminds me of like rice. Uh, it's rice milk, or even you know, even a little bit of like horchata in texture, not without the yeah. It is spices. thick like horchata. That's uh, that's a uh, that's very true. I mean, you can see my glass. You can see all the rice chunks. Yeah, there's uh, there's definitely particulate inside of this. Um, not saying we're sake experts. I'm but, trying uh, to think of what I would do with this. Like when I'm thinking about sake, I think about what I would cook with it, uh, what I would use it to flavor, and and that's where I'm where I'm going back to. I'm thinking chicken. Well, you want something creamy? You can make a Thai. You can make a Thai chicken mm -hmm. with sake. It would probably be pretty good. You can use this instead of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Uh, look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm like, a chef in, here. Instead of, instead of using... Uh, cookies. Instead of something else sweet, you could use this. It's because it is, it is fairly sweet. It's not like, uh, like, like pineapple juice sweet. I do like the fact sweet. that they say store away from light and heat. Now this was seven-ish dollars for a... This is like a pint, I believe. Mm -hmm. They had a bigger bottle. I just picked up a small bottle because I didn't know if it was good or not. Saki's... There's not a lot of selection here in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, but, um, like I said, I do. There are a few that I like to get every once in a while. And this one is, a, I think, a pretty good sake if you can handle the texture. This might be a turnoff for some people, the texture of this one. Mm. Oh, uh, the little the little bits. You can kind of feel them. Yeah. That might bother some folks. The people who just, we just drank three hazy IPAs, it's not <laughs> that big of a deal. Well, anyone who drinks horchata. Yeah, that's kind of a thick, and you can kind of feel the the graininess sometimes of it. Anyone who drinks that is is going to be right at home. With yeah, if the you could if you can handle the texture, like I said, it's a pretty thick uh, almond milk, soy milk kind of texture. Um, I I still like it. You barely get any alcohol in there. Mm. Um, that being said, I think this is a solid seven point five for sake, in my opinion. Um, I've had I've had maybe like fifteen sakis in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I've had some that are this thick, but this is up there with some of the thickest I, that I've had. Definitely know. with that that film that's leaving on the glass. I don't know what this. I don't know what the 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 fil like the 
Trice. Thick pieces are that are in there? Rice. It's probably rice. I don't know for sure that's what it is, but it's probably rice. Uh, it, uh, but it's rice. I, I don't know. The sake that I've had has always been like like cooking sake, which is not really super high quality, really good sake. And this reminds me a lot of that, except for the really weird sweetness, which I think is from the well, from the extra stuff in it. Cooking sake, you get a lot of bitterness because it's yeah. cheaper, lower end. And it's, also, a lot of those are filtered, and they're, not super, they're almost completely clear, too. This one... Well, it's not really cooking sake, because you can get cooking sake at, like, the regular grocery store. I'm talking about, um, like, like $10-ish sake that you get from liquor stores. It's not... You could drink it. You could definitely drink it. Um, but this reminds me mostly of, like, something I would cook with. There you uh, go. I think I, would, I would think I would give it, like, a... Made with only... Rice, water, and yeast. It's like a five and a half. You don't like it? It's it's not bad. I uh, like it. I would definitely this. I think I would pick this over the bottle of sake that I currently have to cook with. Like when I'm making when I'm making when I'm making food, that would be good. I think I would put that in chicken for sure. I I, I might actually like steal sake. the rest of this. Yeah, I've had better sake that I cook with. <laughs> Excuse us. Um, I recommend this one. There's one that's in a triangle bottle. It starts with a T. Can't remember the name of it. They have a coconut flavored one. It's pretty good. Um, I like that one a lot. There's another one. Even that clear sake we had in the cup, the peel back cup, the cup sake. That was weirdly. That was vending machine sake. Like, that was so weirdly good. good. I didn't think that was going to be as good as it was. That was vending machine sake. Like I have bought worse bottles of sake for way more. <laughs> we got to do more sake on the show. We should. Yeah, it's, it's do more wines in general. Yeah, I know more about sake than I do about actual wines. <laughs> but we did go back and do some research and like do some classes on wine a long time ago. But like, I still know more about sake than I do wine. So <laughs> I'm just not a. I don't like regular wine. That's admirable. I prefer this over regular red <laughs> and white wine. So, all right. Well, that's been our episode. If there's something you like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. If we hit that like button, I'm so sure, okay. And I'm Radar. Thanks for Thanks watching. watching. Nigori made by Geki Can Sake. It is severe chilled. Serve, and it's a serve chill. Oh, it does say serve chill. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs>